got to stir this constantly so it won't stick to the bottom when it's got the um, cornstarch in it. And yes, my mom saves grease, as you can see in the grease dispenser, but I wouldn't do that. I would just throw the grease out <laughs> and start all over. That's what I learned in my nutrition class. And I'm using um, Splenda Stevia mixture instead of sugar and this uh, lemon um, custard mix that's going to go in the lemon meringue pie. There's a the shell. It's already done. Um, the meringue is taking some time because my daughter accidentally poured the, before it got hot, my daughter accidentally poured the uh, mixture into the wrong pot. So I had to pour out the larger pot water with all that mixture in it. And luckily the eggs, the uh, egg yellows were already in the small pot. So I didn't have to separate any more eggs out. But uh, I might have to, um, do some more, make some more egg whites anyway, just to make meringue because the, uh, a little bit of uh, Splenda Stevia that was left after I had to pour out what she had wasted may not be enough without some more egg whites. And I also had to add a little bit of sugar in. I added a tiny more, tiny bit more cream of tartar to try to make that meringue whip up. But this is almost thick enough. Thank goodness. It seems like it's taking forever. <laughs> but, um, got it up right just above medium so it wouldn't burn on the bottom. Even, even with a double boiler, if you don't, like, stir it constantly, if you have it up above medium, then it could stick to the bottom. Even if it doesn't burn, it, it could make it uh, lumpy. So I didn't want it to be lumpy. So I'm sitting here stirring it constantly just to make sure. And it's just about thick enough. It's getting there anyway. I'm gonna have to add another egg white to that uh, meringue, I think. <laughs> 